everybody. If you've got a, an Orion Cirrus mount or an Orion Atlas, Atlas Pro, or if you have a Skywatcher HEQ5 or HEQ6, you're probably going to know what and why I'm going to do what I'm going to do next. That is if you have an extension. Now, the extensions are very good if you want to avoid your camera hitting one of these legs or something like that when you're imaging. Hi everybody, it's a couple days later and I figured I'd show you with my telescope and camera already on the, the tripod and extension to show you what I'm talking about. So let's say you're, you're down here and you're in this orientation, you're looking directly over above, uh, overhead. Well my camera is not hitting the leg, uh, so I've got a free range, I've got a lot, a lot more room. If I didn't have this extension here, I'd be whacking my camera against the leg. That happened to me once a few years back with my DSLR. Fortunately, it didn't do any damage. But anyways, with these extensions on here, it gives you a, a more play playroom. You know, sometimes I can actually image an hour past the Meridian flip, and I never would have been able to do that without this extension. So I have a number of these. I have one here, I have one in my shed, and I've actually got a third one. This one's a 16 inch one. These, these ones right here are 8 inch ones. You get the 16 inch one if you look on the Sky Watcher, not the Sky Watcher, excuse me, the Sky, I forgot what they call it, the Orion's uh, most inexpensive go-to mount. I can't remember what it was, then. but whatever it was, they'll give you this option. But this one also fits. I called up Orion to see if, it w see if these 8 inch extensions would fit. And naturally, they knew nothing about it. They, they said, it wouldn't work as a matter of fact, but it sure looked like it would to me. So I ordered it and sure enough, it, it worked fine. So, um, but this is a very solid mount, these things are, and they're, they're very good. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to cut a hole in it, maybe two. And that is because of the way Orion designed their mounts to fit onto their extension tubes. It's kind of interesting because the way it fits, you tighten up there, there's a screw on the inside here, and sometimes that comes loose, and if that comes loose, your mount comes loose. And so the only way to tighten it back up is you gotta take this whole thing off and remove it. It's kind of a silly design. Now, I noticed on the new Skywatcher manual, which I'll show you, on the new Skywatcher HEQ5, they'll show pictures of this of the Skywatcher mount, which is equivalent to this, and it's it's got these holes down the extension tubes. So I figured, oh, why don't I just get a Skywatcher extension? And naturally, no go. the The extensions are just like this, or actually, I should say, just like this. So they don't even sell them yet, but they apparently they may come with a new scope if you order one as a package deal but I'm gonna to try to make my own. Okay, I took the top set screws off and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I can lift this off carefully. You lift it off, this is that nut that sometimes comes loose uh, that you have to uh, tighten it up, but there's no way to tighten it without taking those set screws off. Okay, well, let's take a look at the fruits of my labor here. Here's the uh, completed product. So, yeah, it doesn't look as good as the one from uh, the manual from Skywatcher, but we'll see how it see how it does. Let me assemble everything, and I'll leave it running. Okay, well, there you have it. It's all assembled. And now I can actually get to it. I can I can actually tighten and untighten this thing much easier now. So this is what I was talking about. So you might ask, am I worried that it's going to um, cause some stress on this? Will it be able to take it? And the answer is, yes, I am. So I'm going to keep a real good eye on this to make sure there's no bowling or anything like that. Fortunately, this piece is 
not so expensive and it's not so rare. You can get it from Skywatcher, and you, which is it will be white. You can get it from Orion, and they're between seventy and eighty dollars. So as I said, not too expensive, and not so uncommon. If I have to get another one, so be it. But we'll see how this does, because as I said, it's much easier now. So now, if it does come loose, I don't have to take. Usually, when it comes loose, I notice it after I'm imaging and who wants to take it apart when you're doing that. Oh, by the way, I'm going to put a link on here so you can see the what I did. I'm, I'm going to write it up in a little article and put in a post on my website as well. Okay, thank you very much and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.